What goes on guys, we're back here again with yet another review and today we're going to be taking a look at something that I fucking forgot I even ordered. We're going to be opening up the brand new Loot Crate exclusive Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles box 4. Um, now this has NECA products in it. I actually have no idea what's in this box other than the action figure which is why I bought it. Um, and I'm very excited to see what it's got in store. I know this is probably going to be very expensive one day. Uh, I'm not going to, there's nothing on the box. It's literally just a black box. And then what you see here, there's a shipping label on the back. So I'm not going to show that. But I mean, I have no idea what's in here. So we're going to do like a little unboxing. And then towards the end of the video, we'll do a review on the figure that's in here, which I'm extremely excited for. Um, but I mean, there's not really much else to talk about. Without further ado, let's open this bad boy up. And obviously this goes without being said. There are spoilers, so if you don't want to see what's in this box, kick rocks, come back later, and then uh, watch it with me, you know? But if you don't want to know what's in here, this is your chance to leave. I warned you, I don't give a shit if you, uh, you know, complain about it because I told you. So, there you go. So we'll go ahead and cut the tapey tape. It's got three pieces, right? Three? Um... Just one. Not shipped very well, to be honest with you, Loot Crate. I mean, it's kind of like, steal this. I mean, whatever. But you get some cool stuff in here. Um, this will... Oh, man. That is what we came here for, boys. We'll take a look at him in a minute. But we got a Triceraton pin. That is super sick. Um, I put the pins and stuff on the roof of my car, so I really do like that. You get a license plate. New York party wagon. That's pretty cool. So like, that goes on like the turtle van. That's pretty sick. I do like that. Um, not like the coolest thing. It would have been cooler if it was like actually TMNT. Um, and unfortunately my car only has one plate. So I don't know if I can put this on there. I'll try to. But I don't know if I can. Um, then you get oven mitts. Not super big on this. Um, that are like the pizza monster. I believe. So I probably am not going to use these, but I mean, they're pretty cool for what they are. They feel really good quality. Um, I just really don't care about that. And then what I also was looking forward to other than the figure was the shirt that we get. I hope this is a shirt. It actually doesn't look like a shirt. But they asked me my size, so that's, that's weird. And there's nothing else in the box. Um, let's go ahead and get the box out of here. Um, I don't know what this is. Okay, well, it's not a shirt. Fuck. It's an apron. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I really don't care about this. That kind of blows. I would have totally preferred a shirt. But, I mean, for the most part, I'm buying it for the figure. And honestly, I mean, just even in the box, the figure looks awesome. So before, again, before we get into this, just a little summary. You get a Triceraton pin, which is definitely my second favorite item. You get the oven mitts, which I really don't care about. These are kind of stupid. I mean, I'll put them in my house eventually, but for right now, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. And then you get the apron, which I also don't really care about. So, and then uh, I forgot the, uh, the license plate, which I do like. I might just hang it on my wall um, because... Really don't have anywhere else to put it. I only got one plate on my car, and unfortunately, for legal reasons, I gotta leave that on there. But taking a look at the packaging on this guy, it's your pretty standard NECA animated series uh, turtle box. Could have said collect them all, but these guys go for huge money right now. There is your read up, which I read there. It's pretty freaking awesome. More product images on the side. There's a barcode, but it's not really gonna help you with anything because if you didn't buy this box, you are not getting this figure. I hate, to, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but that's just how it goes. You had to order this box to get this figure. Um, I hope that they don't re-release it because then at that point, I would have feel like I wasted my money and I would have just waited for that because I don't want this other shit. This box retailed, I believe, 50 bucks. So just keep that in mind that when you get these loot cates, they're expensive, I think. Um, I don't think the product is that bad because I get or NECA figure usually runs you like 30 bucks. Oven mitts... A apron, the pin, and 
the license plate, I could definitely see that being worth $50. I just don't particularly like some of the stuff that came in the box. So it's totally up to you if you like it or not, personal preference. But for me, I'm here solely, solely for this fucking awesome figure. So without further ado, let's go ahead and pop this guy open once and for all. So taking this Donatello out of the packaging, the Dark Turtle did not disappoint. I, again, it feels like forever ago since I ordered this guy, but I'm so happy to have it and it was totally worth the wait. I mean, Donatello is my favorite turtle. I mean, he's, he's the best turtle. And Batman is like my favorite DC superhero because, you know, he's the best superhero. But, you know, so getting them together was a no-brainer for me. When I saw this, I, did, I didn't even know it existed until I saw NECA make this figure. And then I was like, fuck, NECA, I have to get that. So I did. It took me a little bit to order it. Like, when at first I remember, like, debating, like, oh, should I get it, blah, blah, blah. And then I was talking to my aunt, and she was like, I think you should get it. And then I'm, I'm happy that I did because I think that this is going to be a very sought after figure. Luckily, I have the money now, so it's not that big a deal. But I mean, it charged you back then. So it wasn't just a random charge on the old card. But oh, man, just look at this. So awesome. But let's go ahead and take a look at this head sculpt here. You do get this head sculpt where it has the orange eyes, the bat ears, and then like the open mouth. Now, personally, I would have liked something more like what the box showed with the closed mouth or at least have the option of that i think they should have threw in a separate head fortunately that's not the route that neca decided to go but i'm okay with that i like the colors um the mouth is painted nice and then i like the little turtle logo it's so sick i got a tiny little itty bitty scuff on there but it doesn't bother me too much um the arms look great i love the design of the the gray suit and then like it makes no sense like how would he put this on you know i love it like how would he put this on there's there's he has no plastron at all he just becomes like human and then pff, shell on the back but i'm okay with it it's stupid but i love it the shell is painted really nice i didn't skimp on the paint even though you know it's gonna be covered by the cape um the arms look good the black lining and the cell shading looks great with the darker gray and the lighter gray on the front i love the turtle utility belt it's so cool with it's just three little shells on there they look like little turtles but like that's so awesome to get that because, you know, Batman's a utility belt, but then they're little turtles. They're painted very nice. I love that. You get his little trunks. And the black lining all around carries on the legs, which are nice. You get the purple on the tops of the boots that do look like Batman's boots. Now, I believe the boots bother me a tiny bit because these are more modeled after Superman boots, whereas Batman just the point up and then Superman has a little... I don't know, like V in the middle of it, but it, you know, it's just the turtle thing. It's just, it's just for this cartoon. And then obviously you get the turtle toes um, through the boots, which also don't make sense, but I, I don't care. I love it. You get purple trim on the top of the gloves too. Now the gloves are definitely Batman inspired. Um, if it had like the scallops on the side, that would be really cool. And then obviously you get this awesome cloth goods cape. Now this is a pretty big wire. So fully spread out, it's going to be like that big, which is pretty damn wide i like that that's a decent sized cape um so it does bunch good but it also is attached the correct way so it's on the body the wire goes all the way through it can still feel the wire there so it can hold its own poses so if you want them like throwing the cape back like whew. oh man that's pretty damn awesome so i really really like the way that the cape turned out um and I, I just think that overall, if you, you can get them in anything, you can get them just kind of like standing there mysteriously, or you can get them in the like super dynamic action poses, the wind blowing. You can do anything you want with this cape. A good wired cape is awesome. And this is a really good wired cape. Um, but he does come with a couple other accessories, so we can go ahead and take a look at those. Yeah, that's all you're going to get. All you're really going to get is an interchangeable pair of hands. So he has a pointing finger and a wide open hand, which are reused from other figures. And then you get this little like turtle robot car thing i don't really know what it is um but it's got nice paint on i mean the shell looks good and there's a little orange on the eyes um you can have him hold this i don't know if he's supposed to hold it i really don't know what it is to be honest the hands are soft enough to where you can get it in his hand as he drops it but you can get it in his hand i just don't know if he's supposed to do that uh, i don't know if it's like one of the little like he presses button and it comes off of his belt personally i'm probably gonna hand him a batarang <laughs> i think I think I'm going to give him a Batarang. I'll show that at the end of the video when I do the comparisons, but I think I'm going to give him a Batarang because I think that that would be cool as shit for him. 
Now, in terms of articulation, it's pretty damn good for a Batman turtle. The head's going to look up that far, down, all the way, side to side, and pivot like this, which I do like. You get great pivot, because I like Batman when he does, like, the side pose like that, you know, so getting the turtle to be able to do that. You get a joint up here and then a joint at the neck, so I think that that's more than enough range of movement. As far as shoulders go, they go upwards that far, down, rotate, 360. Just be careful with the shell. You don't want to scratch any paint. Bicep swivel, double or single jointed elbow that does rotate. You get a hinge and swivel at the hands. You know, just be go go easy on them. Uh, nothing really felt stuck too bad. So I'm not like worried that this is going to break. Neck is really up their quality and it shows through this figure. Um, the diaphragm joint is better than most turtles. He actually does crunch a little bit, but he doesn't really arc back, obviously. But and he can pivot and rock a little bit so not great but i mean i don't really care it's a turtle shell i understand that now he can do almost full splits i don't really need him doing the splits neither he can kick forward which i do like back upper thigh rotation doesn't go all the way around but it's good enough um double jointed knees which i wish they painted the pegs on there it's a little annoying and then the ankle goes down up and pivot the pivot is the tightest thing on here for me and i always get nervous about ankle pivot but damn it's pretty good articulation. Wish you had double jointed elbows, because even like the ones with the pads have double jointed elbows. But honestly, I mean, that's good enough, you know. I and it just looks so good and it looks so cool that it really doesn't bother me as much as I thought it would. Now, the only thing I'll say that I wish he came with, and now we're not talking about accessories anymore, but a pair of fist hands would have gone a long way. Um, so I think I'm gonna like put this hand in here. Let go. Careful. There we go. I think I'm going to do pointing finger here and then, like I said, give him a batarang and have him like, where the fuck is, where's Martha? Where's April? Where's April? Yeah, I know. I know. I'm, I'm corny as fuck, but I think that this shit looks super sick. In terms of scale, he is kind of like your regular turtle. So here he is next to the Super 7 Donatello and here he is the next to the McFarlane Toys Batman. Hush, kind of. I customized him. So I gave him, you know, different parts that I liked from different Batmans. Um, but this is why I brought this guy over. I want him to give up his Batarang. Jesus. Because I like this. I think this came with the Arkham one, but I like this Batarang the best. And go ahead and give it to Donatello the Dark Turtle. Oh, man. That's so cool. Like, just whoosh. It's Donatello as a fucking Batman, dude. How can you not love this? Like, oh, that's so awesome. So you can't have him holding a Batarang. He's, I'm not, you know what? That's his now. It's literally his now. But, so he does look up between them. And then as far as scaleature with other things, here he is next to the Neck of Kong, the Hasbro Marvel Legends Zombie Captain America, the Dark Knight Returns Batman, which he does look good next to him too, uh, the Fortnite Jazzware series Peely, and then finally the best Marvel Legends of all time, Darwin. So he just scales like a regular NECA turtle, you know, nothing crazy here, but I really do like the, the scale of him. I think that he's the perfect type for a turtle. He fights for truth, justice, and pizza. I love it. It's so freaking awesome. I like the posability of him. I like the look of him. And I just love the idea of Donatello as a Batman. I don't I don't think that that's getting to your guys' heads of how awesome this is to me. I'm geeking the fuck out. It, it's Donatello Batman. I think it looks good. The only, my biggest complaint is I wish he came with more accessories. An alternate head and a couple more hands would have been really cool. Um, but, I mean, we didn't get that. And I get that it's an exclusive thing. So, whatever. Maybe NECA had restraints that they had to follow. But... I really do like the way that this guy turned out. The cape is awesome, and and he's just... I just can't believe this exists. And it turned out as cool as it fucking did. So, yeah. I'm giving this an easy 10 out of 10. I mean, yeah, it's not perfect, and I know 10 out of 10 is perfect, but, like, personally, I love it, all right? I understand that objectively there may be some issues that people will get bothered by, but for me, this is absolutely awesome, and I'm so happy to have it. Uh, unfortunately, I hate to break it to you guys, I don't think that this is going to be sold anywhere else. Um, I mean, maybe if it, hopefully for those who want it, it is, but like, you know, parts of it is like, fuck, I just wish I waited so I didn't get the stupid stuff with it. But anyway, I believe that's all I got for today. So if you've not already, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Um, I have a lot of fun over there. So I'm sure you all will too. As far as a rating for the whole box goes, I'm giving it like a seven out of 10. He makes up for it big time. The pin is cool. The license plate is 
cool if I had a reason for it, but the oven mitts and the apron suck balls. So let me know you guys think about the box. Did you get the box? Um, do all the boxes have the same things in them? Let me know. But uh, I think that's all I got. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. How do you know that name?